Hello, everybody. We are here at the Beta Shoe Museum. Um, it was a little challenging getting into the main part of the Royal Ontario. It's quite a lineup. Let's go this way. Start over here. I think it goes like around this way. All right, guys. So we're gonna start at the start. The first steps. So we're over here at the Egyptian, the Egyptian corner. So we're looking at shoes from the Egyptian times. When the 5,300-year-old Otsi man's body was discovered in 91, he was still wearing one of his shoes. The thrilling discovery of this prehistoric shoe led to an in-depth study of his footwear. As part of this research, this exact replica shoe was produced under the guidance of the late Czech researcher, Dr. Peter Halvichek. Oh, look at that, leather crow. Wow, is that like from the bottom of like one of those mummy mummy casings? I think so. This is like pharaoh shoes. <laughs> oh, those are cute. Those ones there. Yeah, the little slides. It's like little loafer. Yeah, little slides. Summer slides. That's a number three. This is a cartoon just made of linen. They're mules. Oh, nice. The ones we like are these ones here. Ancient Coptic mules from Upper Egypt. Going to the Greeks and the Romans. Oh, it's the Romans with the sandals. Oh, look at that one. It's big. That's a big foot. <laughs> and a baby foot. The sandalia or solium from which we get the English word sandal and sole were typically worn indoors. Here's some more example of primitive shoes. Oh, the Sazi people. Hey, that guy from Texas. No, it's like woven, eh? Hey, Texas, what's up? We're taking We're here at the Shoe Museum. Yeah. They're having an 80s exhibit. But it's upstairs, but, um, I think. Yeah, we're just taking a tour of the main floor of the Shoe Museum, and then we're going to go to the 80s again. Yeah. We can always... A little sock, maybe? Yeah, get it. What is this? Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, we're in our way to India. Yes. Next that up, looks like that would, keep, that would keep you warm. Yeah, it's like a little booty. I crochet those in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Saffron. Beautiful. Now we're in India. The pair of saffron colored majori was worn by a temple dancer in Rajasthan. They featured golds or dozy embroidery and the jade beads and brass belts would have created a beautiful tinkling sound while the wearer danced. That's very cool. Yeah. It's cute little booties. Oh, these are nice. Oh, look at those ladies. Lavish footwear crafted of silver was a traditional gift for brides in India. Oh, that's beautiful. Wear silver shoes? Who's wear silver shoes? <laughs> That'd be heavy. <laughs> oh, look at these ones. These unusually high silver these covered paduka favorite. from Jaipur were probably worn by a woman for an important aristocratic occasion. The fine quality of the intricate floral engraving, the gold toe knobs, and high stilts identify these paduka's upper class. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Silver fish. Oh, you wear it on the toe. That's it's good. a toe ring. Oh my god. Look at those anklets. It symbolizes fertility and abundance. Yeah. Never mind. I thought it was something scary. Ooh, look at these. Look at wow, these those are those are huge. <laughs> those are some big feet. What size are you, Texas? <laughs> Asante rose to power in the early 18th century and for 200 years controlled the gold trade along the Gold Coast. As a symbol of power and vitality, gold became an integral part of royal regalia so that even today, the Asantine or ruler of the Asante is adorned with gold ornaments from head to toe. Wow. We love gold. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Those ones are neat too. I just want to see those ones. And no, we're in Africa. Oh, he's wearing the gold sandals there in the picture. Oh, he is. There's a turtle. Oh, that one. Dang. Head to toe gold. Are those the rings? Yeah, those are rings. Those are cool. Texas is a size oh. 10. All right, all right, all right. We'll find you some shoes here, Texas. <laughs> Up next Some are my favorite sandals. shoes. 
Oh, my feet could fit in here. I'm only a size six. It's the tiny shoes with the binding shoes. Would be that small? And they would bind their feet to make them small. I think they're beautiful. These are such beautiful shoes. Con women with bound feet often made and embellished their own footwear. This pair features embroidered floral motifs and butterflies, symbolizing love and beauty. Early 20th century China. Beautiful. We've got some more over here. Hey, that one has cleats. <laughs> First pair of cleats. Hey man, you gotta be able to play soccer too. They're so dainty and gorgeous. She said the Chinese government condemned the practice of foot binding by the early 20th century. Wow, imagine your foot being bound and, and put in that shoe. This was worn by women who did manual labor, those cleat shoes. Oh, the, yeah, non slip group. Her black leather lace-up shoes is typical of early 20th century footwear created for women with bound feet. Oh, look at that shoe. That's a big shoe. Here's your shoe, Texas. Gothic. It's gothic. Texas is the The long pointed toe shoes fashionable and among the European upper classes in the late 14th and 15th centuries had different names depending on the country or region in which they were worn. In some areas of Europe, they were called Poulain or Krakows. In Holland, they were called, I don't know how to say that, Snavelschen. <laughs> Which translates as beak shoes. I could definitely see where they're getting the beak from. These are cute too. I wear these ones. It's tiny little sandals. That one seen better days. Yeah. <laughs> the treat features an elongated toe, which was Hi, Anne Margaret. Hi, Anne Margaret. We're looking at shoes, girl. Anne loves this place. This is the Renaissance and Europe, Gothic Europe. I love Gothic architecture, it's really good. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Tons of it in the UK. Beautiful. Social status has been conveyed through clothing since time immemorial. During the Gothic period, footwear with punctuated toes accentuated the wearer's status. In 1463, the English king, Edward, proclaimed an, an edict that limited the length of toe according to the wearer's wealth and social standing. So the longer the toe, the more money you got. And here comes some shoes for us. Ooh, there you go, Annie. That looks like mother of pearl sole. Renaissance. Throughout the Ottoman Empire, women visiting public baths wore a style of Turkish sandals called nalits. The stilted design elevated the wearer above the headed, heated flooring, and the intricate designs allowed the wearer to make a fashionable statement in the absence of clothing. This pair features bells around the perimeter of the footbed. Oh, little bells. The Tudors. I love the Baroque shoes. Anne loves this place. Yeah. Baroque and Rococo. In the 18th century, there was a significant gender difference in upper-class footwear. Women wore shoes with pointed toes and slender heels, and men wore broader-toed shoes with blocky heels. Ooh la la! <laughs> oh, it's the nice brooches they put on the front of the shoe. Hey, C. How you doing? What's up, C? Happy Sunday. We're here at the shoe museum. Wow, those are fancy. Yeah. We're in the Baroque era right now. Those are nice. And all the wigs. Yeah. And the shoes the men wore with the chunky heel. <laughs> Tudor, 1485 to 1603. What's next up here? Oh, we have Islam next. Those look really comfy too. Yeah, I really like those lace up leather sandals over there. Yeah, I know. Hey, Psychosocial. <laughs> We're looking at shoes today, Psychosocial. We're at the shoe museum. We're in Islam right now. Those are and really next, we're going to go visit the Buddhists. Oh, the Buddhist shoes look like they'd be comfortable, too. Oh, yeah, the little booties with the, the tie. Slippers. Cotton summer shoes have been pressed down with work. The pair of bubbles is from a tequila community in Senegal and features sturdy construction with burned-in decoration. 
This pair does not have a distinct left or right shoe. Hmm. They come in handy sometimes. Yeah. One of those long drinking nights. <laughs> There's some Buddhist shoes. Very comfortable oh, looking as well. And we're over here to the to Christianity. And here's some the red shoes. Wow, these are Christian shoes. There's some Christian shoes. These red velvet shoes belong to Pope Benedict, who was the Pope from 1914 to 1922. In Rome, the wearing of red shoes is a papal privilege and tradition. In fact, the current leader of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis, made news headlines when it was revealed that he preferred to wear plain black shoes, unlike his predecessors. Well, I'm glad we're taking you along on your first museum trip, Psychosocial. Yeah. Oh, Psychosocial said she, she always wanted to go to a museum. Nice. Welcome. That's Judaism. These are the shoes Jesus would have worn. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. 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 Where are we going? Uh, oh, Hinduism. Okay. Oh, they got some pretty jewelry and stuff, too. It's not just shoes, guys. You can't wait to go upstairs. We can go over there, too. Yeah. Oh, we got freaking snowshoes. That we're, we're from Canada. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely know snowshoes. I'm trying to peek over there and see what's going on. Let's get in here. Oh, very nice. Those are more comfortable to wear. Like, not too comfortable. Let's see how that I would wear them. That's a fashion statement. The gel knobs on these pedicure originally featured carved lotus blossoms. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, up at With the top. With each step, a button was pushed and the lotus petals would release perfumed water. Oh. Lotus blossoms are important in Hinduism because the lotus has its roots in the mud, its stem in the water, and its flower in the air. It represents the different stages of being and references the quest for enlightenment. Um, that's, those are really neat shoes. Pull out the seat on. I like shoes that make perfume. I know, right? It opens up. That's cool. Ah, Shinto. Ooh, the Shinto. These shoes look very comfortable. Shinto, or the way of the gods, is the traditional religion of Japan. It honors the presence of kami, or spirits, in many things. Throughout the year, kami are remembered and celebrated in numerous festivals and rites. Auspicious birthdays and weddings are commemorated with Shinto ceremonies. I've seen one. The turning of this new year and the change of seasons are particularly festive occasions when participants frequently dress in traditional attire from head to toe. The design of the formal attire of Shinto priests dates back many centuries. Asagutsu, or shallow shoes. It was inspired by ancient Chinese footwear and was originally crafted out of leather. Since 1192, they've been carved out of palanya wood and lacquered a glossy black. It's really pretty. It's almost like a clock. Right? Yeah, it really looks very, again, very comfortable. Yeah. Oh, look at how petite. Oh, they're so cute. Like christening shoes, wedding shoes. Oh, those are adorable. Marking life events. Shoes are important to mark life events. I got prom shoes. I got first communion shoes. These I brown got silk offers date to the early 20th century and were made for funerary use. Oh. The cloth soles indicate that they were never meant to be worn by the living, and the elastic sides were made so they could easily be slipped onto the feet of the deceased. American. Well, this is American. All right. All right, let's go over here to the snowy shoes. In the snowshoes. It's going to be a Okay, over here. We're... All right, cool, cool. I'm down for that. Yeah. Yeah, a wide range of embellishments. The wide range of embellishments and decorative techniques used on historic footwear reflects both the materials that shoemakers had access to, <laughs> they as see well us. as the diversity of taste and fashion that exists globally. <laughs> After these shoes were completed and purchased, consumers who wanted to add a personal touch could do so with accessories such as shoelaces, buckles, and clips. Yeah. So I guess these are all the different shoe accessories you can put in. Oh, it's supposed to be like um, porcupine quills? Yeah. yeah. Quill, work. quill work is done using porcupine quills that have been flattened, dyed, and either stitched or applicated in place. And there's the beautiful beads. I love bead work. It's amazing. Oh, those are nice brooches. Yeah, there. All right, let's walk up some stairs, guys. 
the party. Oh. The 1930s, guys. Look at these shoes. Dun, 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 shoes for the 1930s. 1960s. Oh, look how good. Look at these guys back then. Oh, I love these. Are these 70s? I love these shoes. Manolo Blanc, excuse you. <laughs> love those shoes. I like these ones right here. Give me a pair of these. <laughs> these have. Who wants to give Colleen the bright purple pair of these? I like these. These are the best. <laughs> the best. <clears throat> Where's it? Where, where are we upstairs? Yeah, let's go upstairs. All right, let's go upstairs, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, our Nana had these statues. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> yeah. Little cobblers. The man with his dog. Oh, look at this one. Yeah. Look at this one. More than any other shoe, sneakers remain a popular surface for customization. This pair of leather high-top sneakers by Adidas is stark white, providing the perfect backdrop for the work of visual artist, performer, and teacher Chantal Martin. Cool. The London-born and Brooklyn-based artist has exhibited her work in museums and galleries around the world. She's collaborated with fashion brands including Puma and North Face. Her most recognizable work features playful and thought-provoking black and white line drawings. Very those cute. are cute. I like those. We got the daddy moccasins. Those look soft and oh, comfy. Oh, those look very comfy. Yeah, yeah. And then who doesn't like a pair of cowboy boots? I mean, come on. I love cowboy boots. I have my own pair. Just haven't worn them yet. <laughs> Texas, are these Texas approved? Cowboy boots emerged in the second half of the 19th century and were worn by cattle drivers across the North American West. The boots were hard-wearing, but by the end of the century, many also began to feature stylish details such as embroidery and appliques. This pair was handmade by the Canadian, Canadian company Liberty Boots and features large sunflowers. They date to 1994 when Liberty Boots was founded and were worn by the company's founder, Tony Benatar, who generously donated them to the museum in 23. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, <laughs> Tony. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, Comfy wow. as uh, AF. Get some side views of them. These these moccasins won the Canadian Native Arts Foundation Decorated Moccasin Competition. There's that beadwork Ginger was talking about. It's not doing it justice on here, but yeah, you guys should really see nice. how intricate and how beautiful it is. It's amazing. It's so pretty. I agree with Ginger. Beadwork is probably a beautiful thing. I love these boots from the 1970s. Striking black suede and gold kit boots were created by French designer Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. Throughout the 70s, Saint Laurent was known for playing with elements of boho and hippie fashions, which included clothing with colorful embroidery and loose silhouettes. Very I like cool. Those boots. Those are cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, look what we got over here. <laughs> we got some more kicks, but you're right. Yeah, we'll go over here. Hold on. Let me oh, show I the. Love. I want to pair these for myself. With a nice little sundress. Where did these come from? These vibrant, highly uh, embellished boots were a collaboration Christian between Bouton. Indian fashion designer Sabia Sachi and French footwear designer Christian Bouton. Yeah, this, these are gorgeous. This is gorgeous. All right. Let's go over here. What's this guy? These ones are cute. Oh, they look like little bows. Oh, we have, I have shoes like that. My little black pumps. <laughs> You do. Black silk evening shoes were worn by Sonia Beta to exhibition openings here at the museum throughout the 90s hey, and the early Hey, no 2000s. brave. What's up, no brave? Oh, again, comfortable. Cousin's all about the comfort shoes. These are beautiful. <laughs> hey, it's Biden <Biden's> shoes. <laughs> uh, Indigenous-owned footwear company Manitoba Mucklugs partnered with renowned Miss Jeff Métis artist and environmentalist Christy Belcour to create these leather and faux fur boots. Belcour is famous for her paintings of the natural world which reference historical Maiti floral beadwork and embroidery. Released in 2020, these boots were created as part of the artist series and a limited edition collection of footwear 
featuring collaborations with indigenous artists across North America. That's it's beautiful. lined in gray fur. It's really pretty. It's beautiful. Maybe I can show them from the top. Beautiful, matey. No brave. No brave said hi again, but we said hi first. We said hi first. We said hi first. <laughs> these look absolutely comfortable too. Cousin would rock these, like Colleen cousin. <laughs> I think we have to go downstairs and then at the the floor before below that. Really? Okay. Sorry, guys. I thought that this was upstairs, but down, and then there's a stairs going down. So okay. we have to travel again. So they tricked us. Careful. So we're going back down the stairs, guys. Sorry. I'm the videographer today. Um, I am not the um, leader today. Okay, so. Oh, I get it. We got, no, we have to go back out and up and then up again. This is the basement. Yeah, she goes, start at the basement and go up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. All right, guys. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Are we, can we go in the elevator? We're going to now. Is it going to cut out the signal? I'm gonna find out. Okay, we'll just wait. Okay, we're rocking. It's nice and sunny out. Yeah. So it's a nice day at least. Yeah. the basement. All right, so this is the second floor and then there's the third floor. Very cool. We're getting our steps in. Yep. We made it to the 80s. Hold on. Here we go. It looks like an old mall. It looks like an old mall. Too much is just enough. 1980s is a decade known for its bold fashions, bright colors, sharp silhouettes, cone heels, high status sneakers. Wow, it does look like an old mall. Yeah, oh, it's sorry. Like an old mall. We were taking too long. <sighs> All right. Dressed for success. Oh, there's Lady Di. Oh my God, the Dynasty Girls. The Yuppie Handbook. <laughs> oh, I love those Nikes. I still have a pair of those somewhere. Loafers. Love the loafer. Where's the old ads? State of the art manual for young urban professionals. People must be really bored to have a shoe museum. <laughs> How? <laughs> I think I, my mom still has some of these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those silver and black ones are pretty cool. Probably. Glamorous heels. Oh, the movie. There's the theater guys who the <gasps> movie. Ginger the jelly, jelly shoes. Jelly sandals. Jellies. Jelly shoes made of PVC plastic were a popular fad in this decade. They appeared in high fashion magazines such as Vogue and designer Jean-Paul Gaultier and Terry Mugler released their own versions. Less expensive, mass-produced styles could be purchased for one to two dollars a pair. Look at, more. Look at the mules or the heeled mules. Oh, I love those. So do I. Love those. Oh, look jeans. at these shabooties. <gasps> love the booties. Oh, love these. Oh, like a riding boot? Yeah. yeah. I would still wear all of these shoes. I totally would wear all of these shoes. Look at the old ads. You know what? No oh, Brave. Look at the breakfast club. No Brave, you are 100% accurate, my friend. 80s is the they coolest. They wore the coolest decade. decade. Or they look at the shoes. The it's a Ralph Lauren ad. I love Ralph Lauren. I don't design clothes. I design dreams. I design dreams. That's what it says. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty jealous. I want to wear these. Guys, look. It's like. It's like Saved it's by like the we're Bell. In the mall. We're at the mall. Where's the theater? 
<laughs> We're gonna get there, guys. Theater, guys. We have to wait. We have to go okay. in, the, in our rows. We got some more pumps to look at. <laughs> oh, look at ladies. I love the fuchsia. That's my kind of shoe. That hot pink metallic fuchsia. That's oh, all me. Yeah. That screams ginger. It sure does. That one's pretty too. That that one's a ginger shoe too. Oh, you know I love sequins. Welcome to the sneakers and the exercise shoes. Love your body. Flash Adidas. Yeah, no, no. Just do it. Just buy it at Olympus Sport. There's the Reebok ads. Look at those. Look at those Adidas. Adidas. Oh, I love the Adidas shoes. LA gear. And Puma. Adidas and Puma. Fitness buffs played squash. Oh, the Reeboks. The Reeboks high tops. I had a pair of purple ones. <laughs> LA gear. Oh, look. Now playing Working Aww. Girl. That's a great movie. Love Working Girl. Miami Vice season one. Fast times in Richmond. Uh, I saw that in the drive-in. It's one of the best movies ever. I saw this movie in the drive-in. Okay, um, should we go in? We'll just wait. Yeah, we're waiting. We're waiting to get into the theater. Oh, okay. We're waiting to get into the theater, guys. You guys have to check this out. Yeah. Want to go into the back? We'll stand it back here. Oh, who's ready to work out? Oh, yeah, okay, true. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even think about that, because it's not on TV anymore. But that's not, that's that's not, but that's not cable TV. TV. Oh, no. Okay. Remember, that's what we talked about. I just thought about. it had to be off the market completely. No, because oh, um, Unsolved Mysteries isn't off the market completely. We get it on no, Roku. Yeah, it's also on TV. Mm -hmm. Another great movie. Oh my god, I love those red boots. Ooh, look at those heels back there. Yeah, those are hot. Hello. <laughs> and the Doc Martens. And the Chuck Taylors. Oh, these boots are cool. Winkle pickers. I still have some Doc of these. style winkle pickers. Yeah. Those are for the vampires. Look at the name. <laughs> Susie and the Banshees, and the cure helps set the sound and style. Good afternoon, Daniel. Brothel Keeper. New Romantics, New Wave, Material Girls. Oh, yeah, those little boots. I love Oh, they're so cute. Oh, wow, look at this. Pump it up. <laughs> I love these oh, shoes. Oh, the bands. Look at that, the, the pump action. Pump up the shoes. Run DMC, my Adidas tour, 1986. Wow. Yeah, never knew there was such a thing as a shoe museum. Well, oh, look at the high heel covers, the high heel shoes. <laughs> Again, Colleen's favorite, Adidas. <gasps> those are, I would totally rock those. <laughs> Totes, my goats. Choose your weapon. Original Air Jordans is one of the most successful and profitable partnerships to occur between a footwear brand and professional athletes. Oh, you have the middle one. Oh. This is the fan car. We're in the mall. We're in the fan car, guys. We were just out for the day. The weather's nice. Thought we'd take you guys along for a bit. Patrick Cox for John Galliano. Made this unique pair of shoes for British designer John Galliano's 1986 Fallen Angels collection. That is very unique. Vivian Westwood. She oh. designed these leather sneakers as part of her fall, winter, 83, 84 witches collection. I love Vivian Westwood jewelry. Oh, those purple shoes are awesome. Look at these ones. Tokyo Kumagai. Japanese designer Tokyo Kumagai created shoes for Yves Saint Laurent, Issey Miyake, and Pierre Dalby. 
1981. Those are really nice shoes. I love those shoes. Charles Jordan. Cool. I like these. Mr. Oh. Dorn. Yeah. Make sure it's not happening here. Patrick Hines. So we all know these regular shoes. It has two yeah. laces, though. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I didn't even notice that until you pointed it out. The double lacing on these Oxford suffers a subtle and clever, t or offers a subtle and clever twist on an extremely traditional style of men's shoes. Yoji Yamamoto. Very cool. It's all woven, eh? Oh, these boots are wicked. I love Periolas. Some crazy pumps. Andrea Fister. Andrea Fister. Hey. Susan Bennett, Warren Edwards. Oh, oh these ones yeah, are Yeah, those cool. are pretty cool, eh? Very, very cool. All right. Is there another level? Or no? Yeah, one more upstairs. Yeah, and the other, <laughs> the other one up there is. We're not. Staff. No. Or, oh, maybe it is. Is this side? Can we go in this? Oh, there is another floor upstairs. Can we go in this door? Let's check it out. We've got the secret room. We found the secret room. Back in the game. The intertwining of music, basketball, and sneakers began in New York in the 1970s. By the 80s, sneaker culture had transformed sneakers into prized possessions. Do you want to go? I think we're supposed to start that way. Yeah, okay. So, okay. Because everyone's walking this way. It means we're going to go, okay, yeah. bump into people. All right, we'll start over here. All right, look, these are some tools. These are tools that you used to make shoes with. Shoemakers, shops, tools. Oh, look how pretty these are. Ballerinas? Straits were a type of early to mid 19th century footwear that did not differentiate between left or right. Mm -hmm. Just little slippers. Very neat. There's mm -hmm. machine made. Oh, we have a old sewing machine like that. Aww. One of those little singers. Oh, oh, baby shoes. Is that the shoe box they came in? That's so cute. Oh, yeah. A like, present for baby, it says. It's, it's like so doll cute. shoes. That's so cute. Oh, Whoa. Nice. Oh, the purple shoes are nice. One of the most exciting innovations of the 19th century was the creation of synthetic colors. Definitely those purple are like electric. Even the blue's nice. All oh, those black booties are cute. Oh, I got a pair for you and a pair for me. Name brand and not. Which one do you think is the name brand, chat? And which one do you think is the knockout? Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell. No, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> More price-conscious customers chose less expensive yet still fashionable, mass-produced versions decorated with machine embroidery and embellishments. Cool. All right. Oh, that's a shoe luggage. Oh, wow. Or you I need, need one. I was just going to say, you need one of those. I need that. <laughs> a shoe for every hour. By the turn of the 20th century, fashionable or well heeled men and women required many different footwear styles, from athletic shoes to evening slippers. And for those who could afford the luxury of travel, a Louis Vuitton shoe trunk was one way of traveling in style. This trunk features discrete compartments for 30 pairs of shoes. Love it. A large compartment for boots and a compartment at the top of the trunk for other necessities. Also, I don't know if you guys can see the Louis Vuitton on there, but it is for sure Louis. Oh, it's an excellent shoe trunk. 1926, the New York Times reported that the shoe industry was enjoying an awakening of shoe consciousness. Hemlines in women's fashion were rising and shoes were increasingly a focus to the 1920s. What's up, Jasper? 
We're hanging out at the Shoe Museum today, Jasper. Oh, look at those black ones. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are nice. New forms. Platforms and wedges, as well as futuristic novelty heels and revealing peep toe. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's over here. Look at those riding boots. How big that shoe is. Those boots are nice. I like those boots. Oh, yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, that man had a very large foot. <laughs> Spectators. Footwear designed for watching sports was also created in the late 19th century. The men's two-toned spectator was specifically designed to suggest leisure and play. Mm -hmm. In the 1920s, spectators were increasingly viewed as a flashy fashion statement. This pair was worn by the famed Hollywood actor Bella Lugosi. Those are Bella Lugosi's shoes. Instead of Bella Lugosi's ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Aw, it's like Easter shoes. It's cute. Specialty items. Ooh, look at all the feathers, the blue feathers on the shoe. It's pretty cute. It's a matchbox. Aw, that's adorable. Yeah, that's cute, right? A little matchbox. Bless my soul, Christmas wishes. Happy New Year. That's cool. Look at the car shoes. I want a pair of car shoes. By the 1960s, footwear was so widely available that having numerous pairs in a variety of styles was common. Novelty and humor found expression in shoe design and attracted the interest of consumers. Those are the do I like these dog shoes. Yeah, that's cute. Look at these ones. New Heights, the platform shoes. <laughs> and that is for men's fashion. Oh, those are nice. Imelda, 1986 dictator Ferdinand Marcos, fled the Philippines with his wife Imelda, Sorry. leaving behind her large collection of shoes. Michelle and Gracia wrote for Newsday, nothing better captured the world's sense of outrage over the excess of the Marcos regime than Imelda's 3,000 pairs of size eight and a half shoes. Damn. Wow. We couldn't even borrow them. 3,000 pairs. Ah, oh, Jimmy Choo's. Oh, no, I love the blue. Are those Manolo Blahnik? That blue satin. Oh. And Christian Louboutin. Beautiful. Look. Red love, bottoms. Love shoes. Red bottoms. I have a pair of shoes like that. Fair enough. Jimmy Choo. They're not Jimmy Choo. <laughs> Today, over 20 billion pairs of shoes are manufactured annually, yet the desire for shoes continues to grow. I love shoes. Like, oh, Tom Nikes. Sachs dropped a cheeky sneaker, the Nike Craft General Purpose Shoe. <laughs> is this what that is? The General Purpose Shoe? Mm, here, quickly, we'll show these again. Yeah, those are cool. I like those. Oh, the Pumas. One in every color. I have a pair of pumas like that. Grace me. I love. All right. All right, one more floor. One more floor. One more floor. And up we go. Too much glare. It's a sorry, sunny day. Guys. I can't really see right now. I'm so so sorry. All right, let's see what is going on here. Now, that's his administration, so I don't think we go there. I think we go over here. <laughs> to the right. Oh, look, this is where they do all the cleaning and stuff oh, that's cool. and repairing. All right, in gloom. Flowers and footwear. Oh, wow. The orange tree.
tree originated in Asia. Valued for its fragrant blossoms and edible fruit, it is now cultivated around the world. That's a pretty shoe. It's a wedding shoe. Peony. Peony. Oh, that's pretty. I like those sneaks. Yeah, this pair of Air Jordan 1s was customized by Canadian sneaker artist Vicky Vaughn, who designed them to honor her grandmother and celebrate Asian heritage. Aw, tulips. I like those. <laughs> Tulip shoes. Aw. Puppy. Those are cute. Uh, I guess are these shoes that people just like, people just design. Oh, look at these. Not to jump all over the place. Wooden shoes. But again, look at these like platform shoes. Wood is readily available, durable, and water resistant, and it can be carved into many different shapes. I really want to try a pair of these. This is Korean. Very cool. Yeah, very nice. Garden. Uh, this is like, I'm in love with this backdrop here. So pretty. Look at all the pretty flowers, guys. Hey, Vaughn, what's up? We're at the Shoe Museum. Thanks for joining us. Korean booties, so cute. These delicate cotton socks feature colorful floral embroidery and pink tassels at the top. This is from Nigeria. Those are pretty, oh, those are funky. I like them. A pair of bell-bottom jeans. And those look cute too. Oh yeah. Cotton. Cotton is a fluffy fiber that is spun into threads and woven into a strong and breathable textile. Those are, what do we call them, espadrilles or something? Oh, no. look at those strawberry shoes. They're so cute. <laughs> those are cute. It's a little, little kitten here. Upper middle class women in Europe and North America in the middle of the 19th century elaborately embellished slippers as gifts for their male loved ones. We like it. Aww. Why did you make slippers for the men? Ah, carnations. Those are pretty. Flowers in pink and blue bloom across the uppers of these bright green shoes. Hmm, the carnation. The carnation originated in the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. Two thousand years ago. This is the cypress tree. Persia, mid nineteenth century. They're gorgeous. It's decorated with tiny glass beads and pearls. Wow. Yeah, look at the beadwork. That's crazy. Tiny glass beads <gasps> and pearls. Beads. I thought those were that was yeah. No, I didn't realize it was beads. Look at this one. I want this shoe. It looks, it's like a leaf. You're wearing a lettuce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On your toes. This sandal, designed by Yves Saint Laurent in 1986, incorporates the, an, an, what is it? Acanthus leaf motif to create a design that makes the wearer's feet appear to be wrapped mm -hmm. in foliage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your foot's a uh, cabbage roll. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> nice benches. We can all sit on. Mm, cherry blossom. Those are really cool. In Japan, the cherry blossom is revered as a symbol of beauty, purity, honor, and the fleetingness of life. The beauty of fallen petals is light until faithful soldiers cut down on their prime. Nice shoes. Oh, those are cute. They're daisies. Those are men's slippers. Dates to the late 19th century and comes from Germany. Wow. Wow. Oh, look, here's some really oldies. Like moccasins, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, James Bay Cree teaching about traditional good work and Rose. Rose. Oh, those are pretty. I like those. These shoes are made of a silk brocade fabric that includes pink and red roses. Floral motifs were hugely popular in 18th century Euro North American women's fashion. So name. In ancient Greece, roses were associated with the goddess of love. Aphrodite. Some more nice looking benches. <laughs> is a form of brightly colored embroidery historically popular in the Punjab region of India and Pakistan. 
Iris. Two teeth. Oh, Iris. Oh, those are pretty, eh? These pumps were crafted by American footwear designer Beth Levine, dating to the late 1950s. They are made of brown silk and feature large white irises across the toe and up the heel. Those are pretty from the 50s? Yeah. The 50s. Here we go. From my the Scottish. Thistle. The thistle. This shoe is undoubtedly Scottish and was probably made as prize work for the 1851 Great Exhibition in London. That's a Scottish shoe. It is embroidered with Scottish thistles and bluebells and features a depiction of a stag, another Scottish symbol. To further ensure that this shoe is understood as Scottish, the shoe tree, which is shaped wooden <laughs> insert, features a brass thistle finial. Understand, this shoe is Scottish. <laughs> Chrysanthemum. Oh, look at that. That looks ouchy. Yeah, that does look ouchy. I don't know, I don't know if I'd want to wear those. In North America, chrysanthemums were first cultivated in 1884 and quickly became a popular autumn plant. Wow. <laughs> Japanese. This is a bit more about beadwork. Florals on Nitsitapu moccasins. It's pretty. Their beadwork is impeccable. It's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. I drained it. It's a nice one. Oh, the lotus. The lotus. Oh, it's so pretty. In China, the lotus was linked to Buddhist ideas of purity and Confucian ideals of elegance, beauty, perfection, and grace. This pair of child... The booties were decorated with depictions of an entire lotus plant from root to flower. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's so cute, little kitty booties. <laughs> when that new hair embroidery. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice little moccasin. It's so cute. Laurentian Forest. Persian Buttercup. Oh, oh those are pair. pretty. This pair of yellow boudoir slippers is embellished with two small bouquets of yellow ranunculus made of silk and attached with snaps. The slippers may have come with a variety of interchangeable blossoms, or perhaps the owner cleverly added them to the slippers after purchase. Italian, between 1920 and 1930. The Persian buttercup, but it's from Italy. Okay. All right. All right. So I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did kind of we got a quick little turn around in the uh, Beta Shoe Museum today. Yeah. Let's uh, get outside there. Walk we'll safely. Regroup. If I fell, no. Can you imagine if I fell? I would take all these people out. No, I'm in front of you. <laughs> then we would take all these people out. Yes, we would. Oh, I'm gonna freeze my baguettes off. Okay, let's go. Right, let's go figure this out. Well, thank you. I'm not buying anything. It's me. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, let's oh, set. Oh, it's getting hot in there. Okay, oh, let's yeah. show them these things. Yeah, him. Just grab this so I can zip up for a sec. Yeah. All right. So we are outside the Beta Shoe Museum right now. So it says, what Dress to Impress is the name of the exhibit. Footwear and consumerism in the 1980s. Culturally, the 1980s were defined by conservative politics, globalization, and technology. What, what is it? Technological innovation. Yeah. Self-improvement and the pursuit of individual success was strongly encouraged, and fashion was promoted as a way to both achieve and flaunt a successful career, a desirable body, and an inviable, enviable lifestyle. Sorry, guys. I can't read today. Should have brought glasses, but, you know, next time. Shopping malls and mail-order catalogs, as well advertisements in film, television, and music videos, encouraged materialism and fed a generation of consumers who were dressing to impress. Featuring over 80 pairs of shoes spanning the decade, the exhibition is organized into six sections. Dress for success, work hard, play hard, let's get physical, mainstream rebels, pump it up, and designer highlights. And we saw them all. Yay. Remember the old TVs? <laughs> you got three channels, click, click, and click. <laughs> there's some break dancing. What, what? Bow, bow, bow. Oh, there's my legs. I'm in the TV. I'm in the TV. In the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm in the GV, everybody. Breakdancing was cool. Hold that so you can get a smoke. Yes, hold that, please. I will get a cigarette. Oh. <laughs> I'm walking Pump right up. in front of her. Sorry. What is people lining up for there? I don't know. Um, we're not lining up for anything else anymore. It's I'm looking crazy. There was like 3,000 people uh -huh. in line. I'm looking for the closest bar. Like, I'm... oh yeah, it's going to take an, about an hour and a half for you guys to get in. How long? No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. I'm trying to look for the closest bar to here. I love the 80s style. The look it was so cool. Mm -hmm. The neons. And is this the aerobics coming up? It's yeah. the aerobics. So one more. It's not quite the 20 minute workout, but it's close enough. <laughs> Shit, sorry guys. Here, just give me the money. Yeah, one more. Two more. See, we take you out, you get a workout. Mm. Duke of York is around here. Absolutely not. No, I'm not going to that place again, sorry. Absolutely. All right, where do we want to go? Do we want to go get some lunch or like late early dinner maybe? It's 3.30, okay. Oh, we're doing good. It's not bad. We're doing good. We're doing good. Where are we? St. George and Bloor. Want to walk to Spadina and Bloor? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's walk down to Spadina, shall we? There'll probably be more things down that way because there's really nothing Yeah, there's lots of pubs. There's lots of, like, Korean house foods and stuff. Oh, yeah, we can get something like that. You can see some cute little things in the window. Koreatown's actually really nice. That's more Bathurst Christie area. Yeah, but there'll still be some neat But, uh, yeah, we'll still see some neat things around Spadina. Taking over the streets of Tirana. <laughs> oh, yeah. Toronto's got art installations everywhere. There's statues, there's monuments, there's all kinds of stuff. But they're starting to, like, I don't know, get rid of the old and, I guess, try and bring in the new. I don't know. Smoothies, sweets, and coffee. Oh, that's a hidden place. I didn't even know that was there. Japanese grill. They're still, they're building all condos around us. This area is like all of the downtown. You can barely see anything on the city line. Oh my God, would it be too cold to go to the lakeshore? Probably, yeah. Okay, we'll save that for when the, when the weather's a little bit warmer. I'd say like in another week or so, we could probably do that. Well, April 12th. We are going to back to the rock pile for IRL rock oh, concert. No, We're going to, um, oh yeah, it's been like that for a while. We're going to stream Michael White and the Whites, one of the best Led Zeppelin cover bands I've ever seen. They've been around a long time. And oh, yeah. remembering the Baja Center, <laughs> like having deja vu. Yeah, this is the St. Patrick's Parade was down here. Yeah. So it's a church that burnt down and they're still in the process of fixing it. Mm-hmm. Toronto Baha'i Center. You have graffiti on the side of buildings? <laughs> I don't know how people would get up there, man. And you see some graffiti like on rooftops and stuff, but it's like, how the hell do they get up there? Scary stuff. All right. Let me wait to cross. Yeah, it's one of the old buildings, the old churches we had. So well, we had snow, Cheesy Mary. Um, oh, and hi, hi. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> we have, um, we had snowfall yesterday Friday. and the day before. Yeah, starting from Friday. It was crazy. Um, but the sun's been out since, so it's been starting to melt um, a lot of what fell. Like, we have some, some snow, right? But the majority has melted away. Thank goodness. Thank you, Cloud99, for that current temperature update. <laughs> yeah, it's just a very chillax Sunday. I mean, the weather's good. We figure let's go and get about town in. and yeah, get our steps in, see what's going on, some fresh air. Let's take you guys with us. Kind of bummed we weren't able to get into the Royal Ontario Museum, but eh, it is what it is. You know, if the weather was warmer, the wait, I mean, well, it would still be a long time for a chat to wait, but yeah. it was really chilly standing in that line. Oh my God, every time we turned a corner, we're like, oh, this isn't too bad because the <laughs> door's around the corner. We lied to that man. We like, that poor man, that, yeah, this guy walks up to us. He's like, hey, can I ask you how long you've been in line? We're like, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And uh, he's like, oh, okay. I'm like, but it seems to be moving fast. Like the door's just around the corner, right? 
But then we go around the corner and they're redirecting traffic because there's lines of people coming from both ends. Yeah. So we ended up having to walk past the entrance, around this building, into a crowd of people, and we were like, "Hey, you know what? Take your next right. We we're out of here." Casaloma in the summer. Oh yeah, we'll definitely go to Casaloma. You guys want to see Toronto's only castle? Yeah. Let's go to McDonald's on Queen and Spadina. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we don't go there. If you're ever in Toronto, do not stop at the, at the McDonald's at Queen and Spadina. It will definitely be a learning experience, I'll tell you that. There's the wine rack. Oh, yeah. I didn't see one of those in a It's walking down the streets of Toronto. On a beautiful sunny Sunday. Alright, Spadina Blur, folks. Yep. Spadina Blur. Spadina Blur. <laughs> That's where we are. Should we go up Spadina or should we go straight? Oh, there's JJ Elite Spa, foot and body. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. Mm hmm. <laughs> Bet you insurance there's a come pizza hut down there. Is that a pub? Royal what? Royal something. Probably. There's no sun though. Our pigeons are huge down here. There's dominoes. It's like a seating area, chill area. I miss playing dominoes. Maybe I'll pull out my dominoes this summer. Oh, look at all the pigeons flying. Oh, ah, they flew all over me. <laughs> The bird whisperer. <laughs> oh, you want to go for wings? Yeah, we could do wings. There's wings, like Mr. Wings, the wing stop or whatever, the next light. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, wild wing. Yeah, wild wing. We could do a wild wing. Yeah, let's do that. Do we want to do a wild wing, guys? I'm going to do wild wing on those guys. The bird's going again. Let's cross the street, folks. Scotia Bank. Uh oh. Traffic, traffic. <laughs> honk, honk. <laughs> oh my god. One of the last remaining payphones. <laughs> They're like on their last leg. Yeah, <laughs> significant. I'm not gonna put it. Ew. Uh, no, I don't pick that up. Look at this antique. I love T Dot. <laughs> Greenheart. Yeah. Ooh, let's spark that up. Before going over wild things. We'll just smoke a little bit. A few puffs. A few puffs. Bell Crime Stoppers. If you know of anyone who is responsible for damage to Bell Canada equipment or have knowledge of any other crime, call Crime Stoppers. 1 800 222 TIFFS. <laughs> oh, there's a big, big dog barking. Just two, three, sixty. These are the York apartments. They're not that great. They're old. They've been here a long time. Like there's still stained glass in the window. What? No, I'm okay. Maybe for the ride home. There's the Miles Nadal Jewish Community Center. It's a nice building. Ah. Bitch, you splash me with that water. I open the, my bag. Okay. Let's walk on the other side. Maybe go over here. Go down this yeah, maybe let's go down this way. <laughs> We're just gonna go around the corner here. That's Spadina Station. It's a tiny little brown brick building. So I think that's like still original from when it was built. <laughs> Notice zoning. We're building a new condo everywhere jesus like as if the traffic's not bad enough but you know whatever <laughs> whatever what can you do oh the birds yeah it's right here so we're gonna go and have some wings and uh enjoy that late lunch early dinner whatever whatever you want to call it so we're gonna do that they still got those buttons to cross streets around in a landline phone. <laughs> it's so third world. Oh, no, babe. 
Look, you get maybe. get the condo ready. We're coming. Me and Colleen are coming over there. We're ditching this place. <laughs> we'll behave. Yeah, most of the time. Nobody will build you a cheap condo, no warranty. Yeah, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> Is it what? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. What flavor of wings should I get? I like the dry rubs. I don't like the sauces too much. Maybe like a garlic parmesan rub. Oh, I, or a spicy they, they crack, cracked a, pepper and salt. They actually have a garlic parmesan. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Things are looking good. It's been a while since I had little wings. Basket of wings. Yeah. Mm. Wanna have a Caesar to go with it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. Caesar and wings, guys. I'm eating crazy bread. Yep. Crazy bread, which is pretty much garlic sticks. I don't know if you guys have little Caesar's pizza over there, but we love loves the crazy bread so snack pack. Yeah. I don't know if I could live in an apartment that's just a window. Like there's no terrace, there's no walkout, and your window's so small. You know? I know, right? Too small, man. I can't be closed in like that. I need space. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are you supposed to smell? You have to go down to the street? No, 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 no. These ones here are okay. Mm-hmm. It looks like. Mm, do I hear church bells? Where? I got that four floors, one house. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it might be the condo ones. It might be like each floor is a yeah, different like unit. Two yeah. Above and two below. yeah. Yeah. That's too. That's too many. No, I like more space than I that. Bet you it's I'm not some, a neighborly person too I much. Bet you I like have the main floor in the basement, and there's a basement. Yeah. And then the second floor gets three floors. They have like a master bedroom up there, and then the sec two second floors. Oh yeah. They built. They built condo townhouse. Well, freehold townhomes or whatever right next to Spadina Station. <laughs> like right, right up against your back terrace there, your walkout. Like, really? They don't care. They'll build right around you. You don't want to sell it? No problem. <laughs> you don't want to move it? No problem. Yeah, Seven dollar pizzas. Well, that's not bad. Ours are ten here. For like a medium pizza, whatever, ten bucks. You want more? No, I'm good. We still got 7-Elevens. Those are never going to die. We used to have Max Milk. Max Milk store. We used to have Becker's. I remember Becker's. Remember Becker's? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Becker's, Becker's Byway, Bargain Herald's. Becker's had the best uh, ice lollies, popsicles. Hey, what's up, Big D? Reasonator? There's a park. Oh, yeah, the popsicles, the bananas. Oh. available in that building. Mm, we could live I, above a 7-Eleven. No, thank you. I wouldn't do that, no. I just know myself. Just like, you know, I was never able to, as a teenager, I could not work in like, you know, how they get McDonald's jobs and stuff. No. I went to an office. I helped my mom out in the summers at her work. <laughs> no McDonald's jobs for me, thanks. I don't have the patience for that shit. I know myself. So I'll be, I'll be like, fuck, fuck this job. <laughs> I have a lady complaining to me about her order and I'll be like, peace out. Here's my visor. <laughs> Here's my uniform. Thanks. There's the other side, flock. We got Afropas. What else we got? Rango, Stoner, Chio, Gouch. All right. <laughs> Sexy. This phone is like a walking ick. Not walking, but standing. Standing ick. Ugh. Yeah. Imagine how many hands and mouths and everything has been on that phone. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's cross. And if we can, yeah, thank you. 16 seconds, hold on. 16 seconds! Right, 12, uh, 11, 10, 9, we must cross. 
We did it. Oh, no, no box of donuts. No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Freedom Mobile. There's a Tim Hortons here. But of course, why wouldn't there be a Tim Hortons here? You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Come back. This is like a health store. Well, it's supposed to be a coffee shop. Oh, it's a coffee shop now. Okay. Mixed shawarma and falafel. Oh, remember that shawarma plate we used to get? Oh yeah, that was good. Did you get that one time I said Empire. That's those, a, um, those. All those dinners are good to get in the summer because it's warm to like do the adventure. You know? Yeah. Like, I love jerk king. Oh, you want jerk king? No. We made a firm decision. Made a firm decision. We'll wait till the weather gets warmer. Yeah, we'll wait. Because we trek. Like it's in the summer, it's cool. You can jump on and off the subway and. You don't have a lot of like coats and scarves and like a bunch of stuff bunch carrying of stuff. stuff. Carrying. Yeah. So we in the summer stomped, it's better. We stomped up the cell, but man, it smells so good. Yeah. When we brought our uh, jerk king home. Oh yeah. The jerk king is really good. I think we're coming up to the wild wings. The wild wings like one of them. I think you can yeah, maybe it's not. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Happy Palm Sunday, everybody, for those who celebrate. Uh, those birds are really flocking around me, man. They're flying over my head and stuff. <laughs> Your houses are made of wood. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. All right. Let's see. What do they have now? No, no fun. No shots. <laughs> Twelve dollar Tuesdays. All right, let's see what we can get in here. Let's see what we can get. Where do you want to sit? Yeah. Hey guys. We're just gonna put you on us for a bit. Do we have to wait to be seated? Oh, please take a seat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We'll sit over here in the corner. Yeah. We're gonna sit here in the corner. Okay. Bear with us. Hey, Allie. What's up? We're just gonna get comfortable and set up in here. Oh, I sit beside me. Yeah. Okay, let me. Ta da! Okay. Let's take off all our gear. This is what we have to wear. So. Oh, this place smells phenomenal. I wish you guys had some Mela Vision. It smells phenomenal in here. So did you guys or mine? Formula Jumper. Oh no, am I going to get copy right now? <laughs> they were not playing music until we walked, like before we walked in. What the fuck? We'll just talk really loud. guys <laughs> so I'm gonna get a menu I want to have a quick peek at the drinks menu mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even though it's probably gonna be Caesar City but... I'm feeling a Caesar you know which I guess what you guys you guys in the States would call like a Bloody Mary I don't know they don't for... have Pomada oh, right. so they would just they don't have anything that's a Caesar okay maybe not so close <laughs> So it wasn't bad. I was a little, a little bummed that, yeah, again, we didn't get to see the ROM, but I mean, we have all summer. Yeah, and they're always changing up the exhibits anyway, so it's cool. Maybe it's best we didn't go and see the Death Around the World exhibit. It's a little morbid. But we wore all black. We wore all black for it. We totally did. Yeah. But we got to see the shoes, the cool shoes in the, the 80s exhibit. That was all right. I wish they had more though. But uh, what can you do? There was a lot of people. Yeah. The weather's good. It's a weekend. There's a lot of people out in the streets. Out, out in the booth in the streets. 
Yeah, there was a lot of traffic today. Yeah. Well, that's why I said, is she going to see us? I know. Oh, there she is. Okay. That guy. You mean front is half brick and both sides and back is wood paneling or drywall? Gotcha. So, what was your guys' Someone favorite? Someone built me a house. <laughs> what were your guys' favorite moments? From the shoe museum? Anyone have a favorite pair of shoes? Or a favorite pair of shoes you guys had from the 80s? that you just can't get rid of or just wore all the time. I still have my Adidas. The buckles off, it had gold buckles on the side. Those are off and gone. <laughs> but they're so, they're so comfortable though. There's some, some stuff you don't want to get rid of, you know? It's like sen sentimental attachments to my menu. Hi, thanks. Um, definitely, I guess we'll start off with like two waters, but we'll need a minute for the menu. Thank you so much. The Rambo. Look at retro cocktails. Retro cocktails. Killer Kool Aid. Oh my god, I think the first time I had a Killer Kool Aid, I was young. I don't think I was of drinking age. Oh, Tom Collins is good. A Manhattan. No, I'm not going to be able to finish that. She wants, us, she wants us to get a fish bowl. A fish bowl drink? It's only three ounces. Right. Santana's? The band? Or the shoes? <laughs> oh my god, it looks. They come with like gummy bears. Like, That's all so fun. Kinds of candy. The Wild melon? The fizzy gin sounds delicious. Fuzzy gin. That's the fuzzy peach. There's a Crown Royal peach. That's a big drink. <laughs> We've had bigger ones. These are smaller than the ones we had. Like, um, okay. 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 We'll look. We'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. I might wanna. I might want. I might want a Tom Collins. Not gonna lie. It's been a while since I've had one. And that's a, that's all. It's the, gin. That's all. It's the same. It's the same. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's three bucks more. No, that's a wow. Okay, so you're gonna get the fishbowl ones? Alright, I'm gonna try the Crown Royal Peach. Crown Royal Peach and iced tea. No, I don't know if I want that one. No, no, I have to get the gin. Danger Zone! So that's three. Now it's a Crown Royal Peach. Yum. Oh, wait a second, though. Lesbians are good, aren't they? Unfortunately, we're cousins, but you know, we can keep dreaming. Uh, but now, close Not the that there's anything wrong with that. Close the book. Now we're confused. Oh, okay. See, I need a Caesar. A gin Caesar? The beer Caesar? Oh, the beer Caesar? It's only one ounce. Smirnoff vodka, Worcester, European wild wings, signature hot sauce, Mas Clamato, topped with Molson Canadian beer. A Caesar topped with Molson Canadian beer. Rimmed with Matt and Steve Caesar, rimmed with garnish with hot and spicy extreme beans. Okay, so Caesar or we can get both, really. Start with this and maybe. No, I wouldn't want to mix that. I'd have to have Oh, that's gonna take me forever to finish that. If I get that, that's gonna be the one I have. Alright, let's do the I'm gonna do the fish bowl. Okay, yeah, let's just stick with what we really think. Yeah. Because the Caesar doesn't set. come with pickles or anything, it just comes with like the spicy beans and stuff. So it looks like we both get peach candies. Okay. Good. All right, Crown Royal and peach iced tea on the way, and then we'll need a minute for our food menu. Look how big the food menu is. All right, ribs and tenders. No, I don't need those. Wings. We are cousins, Leon. Leon wishes. Okay, so. Yeah. Um, oh no. Irish nachos, that might be a lot for me. Doesn't it come with the. Hold on, don't the wings come with it? All wing and boneless chicken offerings are served with your choice of side dip, okay. Sides, substitutes, fries. Three carrots and three celery. There. So you have 18 bucks for that? That's cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'll now, do that. What flavor do I have? Yeah. 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 Ye
101 flavors. Well, if they have them all chunked out, like the dry seasonings. Yeah, I like the dry like seasonings. Dry dill pickle. Dry garlic. Um, I like the I like the lemon peppers good too. Okay, I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the dry garlic. Is there a Parmesan garlic? Hold on. They have a blue cheese dressing. Yeah. I can't do that. I can't. My hands. I have a problem when I eat. I have to. My hands have to be clean. Like I'll wipe after every bite. I can't have too saucy. Dry. I want to enjoy it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the dry garlic. Garlic. Zero cal. Well, I'm gonna do the blue-eyed blonde. Four hundred forty pounds. <laughs> Are we in my dream? Like at home, hot spicy, back at barbecue. Okay, I'm gonna get blue, I get blue cheese to dip on the side, so I'll get that on the side. But I'm gonna do the dry Ooh, garlic, garlic. This good, the garlic trio. Honey garlic, garlic par, and dry garlic rub. Ooh. For the honey at home. There you go, that's a good one. Oh, that one right, yeah, that one, that maybe the blue cheese, but you're right, I get it on the side too. Yeah, I'll just get it on the side. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the garlic trio. Honey garlic, garlic par, dry garlic, garlic. Okay, I'm just gonna get fries on the side. Sweet potato fries? No, I'm just gonna get regular fries. Done! Dry garlic, garlic. And traditional way. With blue cheese on the side. Yeah, traditional. Yeah. Yeah, traditional. Seem to be discussing decor and politics. Decor mostly, yeah. <laughs> and construction. Get a side of shoestring potatoes. Mmm. Yum. This will be our first meal of the day. <laughs> we were a little busy this morning. It's our water. Important to stay hydrated. Oh, water's good. I'm just happy it's not like blistering cold or blizzarding. Because it was blizzarding the last time um, we brought you guys downtown. <laughs> uh, what else do they have? So this is what we'll probably do. Look, here, for 35 bucks, it comes two flavors. So this is what we should get our own. Okay. Okay. All right, sounds good. Yeah. What's up, Lady Nuke? We went to the shoe museum today and saw shoes from around the world and through the ages. Now we're here um, downtown Toronto, we're stopping for some wings. And we're gonna have the most best girl drink this Sunday. Yep, we're ordering some Crown Royal in a fish bowl, two fish bowl drinks, some Crown Royal and peach iced tea. Cheers with water. Chin chin. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. I think so. Mm. Would you like? They have calamari, but I'm not trusting the calamari. Okay, okay. No, I get you, I get you. Okay, how about um, pickled lilies? Yeah, you want to get try pickled lilies? Yeah, yeah. Served with our delicious dill dip. Caution, hot. Six juicy, lightly breaded dill pickles. Oh, God, no. It's all like the fried stuff. Yeah. We came for wings. We'll get some pickled willies, I think. I think we'll start off with some pickled willies. Deep fried dill pickles with a dill dip on the side. Cheese a lot like you. It seems like you can get copyright for everything. Music, if you put it on a commercial, like, it's ridiculous. Okay. 
we are ready to order. So, hopefully, mm -hmm. oh, she's Fuzzy Gin from Beach. That's what we're having. Hi, we are ready. You're ready, Jeremy? Yep. So we're gonna start with the fuzzy gin and a crown royal peach. Yep, and a crown royal peach. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Like to order for the food or yeah. I'm gonna do one uh, dry garlic garlic. And I will do the um, garlic tree. And then can we add like the carrots and celery as well? And, and two blue cheeses? Yep. Uh, pickled willies. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. So let's move this over. Sorry for the shaking, guys. She's a lot like you. <laughs> I don't care. We're out to have fun. If we get if we get a claim, we get a claim. But you know what's what's happening? Oh, hey, Freeside. How are you? Um, what's funny is I'll get the email saying copyright claim and then it's like, okay, boo, you know, and then it comes back and says, but user, um, allows content to be used on YouTube. Okay, so then why is it on a list to be copyright claim? I don't know. I don't understand. So many rules. What do you think of my hat, guys? I love the hat. I haven't worn this in it's a like, long time. Uh, Peaky blinders? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's a good day to wear it. It is. Thanks, Allie. Just like a like a sock, almost like a nude, but with a little tint, right? Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. So, does anybody have anything exciting coming up this week? Bum, bum, bum. It's a short work week for us because we get Good Friday off. Yeah, we are off on Friday. Mm -hmm. Because it will be Easter weekend. So. Oh, Traditionally, as kids, we'd be at church today with our families to get our palms. And then we'd go to Nana's for like yeah. brunch or whatever after. Yeah. And then next week's Easter, I'm going to do Easter dinner on Sunday at my mother's. We're going to have, I'll take video and pictures of all the, the good food that will be rest out on the table. Um, and some baking. So we're going to do some cookies and stuff. I might do a cake, I don't know. We'll see. But um, definitely some cookies and sweets. So we're gonna do that. Oh, Easter. Oh. I won't have to cook for like three days though. What's up, Devo? We will have leftovers for days. <laughs> My mother's doing a turkey and a ham, like three different kinds of potatoes. Then we have our veg. It's just yeah. it's crazy. It's leftovers for days. It's gonna be so good. Yeah. We're waiting for our fishbowl drinks. I'm having a Crown Royal Peach and Colleen is having a fuzzy gin. Fuzzy gin. And then we're gonna get our wings, our pickled willies. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm glad we're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, nice little grub. We'll see how far we can take you guys. I think we're good on battery when we check. Yeah, 50%, we're not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And, um, yeah, then we'll, we'll bid you all adieu and we'll catch up again uh, during the week. It's a long weekend, so who knows? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> if the weather, the weather is supposed to be good next week, so if it is, we might do an after work um, mini hike, walk around. Yeah. Yeah. We might take a, a walk on a trail, pack some snackies. It's one way to get our uh, workout in instead of being in a gym, right? That would be so much fun. Mm -hmm. We'll take you down the Centennial Trail. It's pretty long. I think it goes all the way to like Bolton or something. Burlington? Oh, but it's pretty long. Yeah, I'm so excited, Ali, for the four-day work week. Yay! <laughs> it's such a good week. Mm -hmm. And then after Easter, what comes next? Nothing. 
We don't have a holiday until, oh my god, May 2 4. May 2 4. Yeah. And then Canada Day, July 1st. And then we're into the summer holidays. What plans do you guys, anyone have for this summer coming up? Cottaging, camping? Are you traveling anywhere? Having family come down? Summer's a good time to do stuff. Yeah, I'm a big fan of hot summer nights on a patio. Yeah, even if it's just on our patio. <laughs> Which I can't wait to open up. We'll do a live. We'll, we will do a live stream when we open up the patio. Our summer. I'm still gonna get a coffee. <laughs> it's okay. I don't care. Well, we have Mother's Day coming, but it's not quite a holiday, unfortunately. It should be. We should get a day off for Mother's Day. Why not? Right? Yeah, we totally should. But yes, yeah, so Mother's Day is coming up. I don't know if I want to take my. Do you want to take our mothers for a tea? Maybe you want to do a party on that weekend. Yeah. We wanted to do the psychic party, but things are running too fast. Yeah, time is running really fast. It's flying pretty quickly. Yeah. So we're still gonna do the psychic party. It just might not be in time for Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Right? Yeah. We just had spring spring break back to work until summertime. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, we do have May 2 4, which is a, it's a Victoria Day weekend. We have that holiday before the, just before the summer. Because in May it's warm, but it's still, I mean, if you go camping, you go up north, there's still going to be snow on the ground. So, not quite a summer yet. <laughs> it's still kind of like spring at that time, right? I want to go ask those guys for a while. Oh, <laughs> Way back playback tunes. So it's new on the YouTube streets, guys. Yeah. Like Anything new? What have we missed? We've been taking a break from yeah, the YouTube streets. So <laughs> what did we miss? <laughs> Fill me in. I'm sure. Fill the girl tea. I'm sure there's lots that's been going on in the streets of YouTube. I'm just glad I've been enjoying. We've been taking some time for ourselves. It's busy with work. We try to get out there and do stuff, but it's just ugh, every time we do something happens. Yeah, we like you too, Patriot Lady. <laughs> you were always cool though. Solid. Patriot is a solid dude. Yeah. There we go. Patriot for a long time. Ago. I'm going to take so many Ooh. pictures of them. He wants to see our pickled lilies. Oh, I think we'll get our drinks. The, the people's food their food smells great. And I want to ask that dough. It's that dough smell. I bet they got pickled lilies too. It smells so good. You want me? I'm kind of craving a karaoke night. So that might be happening soon. Karaoke is a great stress relief. It is. Like to go out and just belt out a tune or two. I might even put in some country there. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've been listening to my, my country playlist a lot lately. A lot, a lot. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the country vibes. I don't know. Maybe it's because the good weather is coming. The sun, the sun is out. I don't know. But I am definitely feeling a karaoke night very soon. Very soon. Thank you, Texas. <laughs> Texas has always been a solid dude, too. We go way back, way back, way back. <laughs> There's a lot of us still around, eh? It's good to stay together, you know? From all over, too. We're from all over. It's good. We're two good Canadian gals, though. You know? You know? Canadian girls are fun. We're fun over here. Fun, loving Canadian gals. It's cold, but we'll keep you warm. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's all good. I know how to build a fire. <laughs> I can find berries. Oh wow, look at those tiny little balconies. Chuck can see it. There's somebody out on mine. Oh, the little, yeah, the, I like the, the Juliet balcony, is oh, yeah, it called? Yeah, it's a Juliet balcony, where it's like a little rounded. I want it. Yeah. Hey, now. Vince, what's up? Thanks for joining us, Vince Matthews. We're waiting for it. Our drinks here at Wild Wings in Toronto. Any moment. I'm thirsty. Any moment. I'm digging the music. Fuck it. If we get the claim, we get the claim. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 
Just a couple of Canadian beauties hanging out. Hanging out on the Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two chicks from the six. Take the dive over here and do a saucy wing. Well, it's a honey saucy, so it's not going to be overpowering and creamy. True that, true that, true that. I was all about that blue cheese. I was like, hey, that's going to be way too much blue cheese. Yeah. This sunlight, we're sitting across from the window. I'm not going to lie. Like, I look very oh. It's like the golden It makes you look, like, fresh. Yeah. <laughs> it's natural light. Oh, there's a video. Uber Eats is all over the city. Everywhere you look, it's like anyone on a bike has a backpack with Uber Eats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, man. We should have, uh, fuck, we should have walked all the way down here in the yeah. St. Patrick's Day Parade. It would have been way better. Probably would have been better. Who's to say we won't pop up later at Rock Call for karaoke? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We gotta face the makeup on. We have I'm a little bit of mascara. I have some shadow light. That is maple syrup season, maple syrup wrestling that clicks in here. Actually, good weather's coming, spring is coming. The rock pile does have like backyard wrestling inside rock pile. And then they have choose your weapon where it could be like you get to choose. They bring, they have all these weapons strewed out on the floor and you get to choose what the wrestler you pick uses to like torture the other guy. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. There's a barefoot thumbtack match. There's a match where this crazy guy comes in and he sets himself on fire. It's fucking nuts. That's crazy. Yeah. But the rough pile wrestling there is pretty good. We should go to that. Yes, I definitely want to go to that. I wasn't able to go last year. And then we have um, we have my brother's memorial coming up. We can do that. I have to talk to Dom and see what weekend we want to do that. I might do it sooner rather than later. I don't know. We'll see. Should we do bands this time? No. Too much chaos with the bands. It is. It's a lot of stepping up and pleasing other people. We just want to enjoy the day. Mm, it's just I don't particularly like all the ones that show up. So it's... There's that. Yeah. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that man with the we'll keep it to karaoke for sure. Oh, he's bringing flowers to his girl. What did you bring? Nothing. Those are Easter flowers. Oh yeah. So Easter plans. You guys can enjoy next weekend. Have some treats. You know, decorate some eggs. What else could we do? Decorating the eggs is pretty fun. I, I found some new techniques with like the onion peels and stuff. Dying it that way. I'm gonna try that. It looks like wood. Oh, here's our drink. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. We need to get pictures of these. This is Instagrammable. Okay. Hold on a second. Let's get our picture and then we're gonna show you what our drink looks like. Help me in the And the umbrellas and everything. Okay, ready? This is what I convinced. Look at this. This is what Colleen convinced me to get. A fish bowl of Crown Royal and, and um, peach candy. iced tea. And it has fuzzy peach candy rings, a slice of orange, a slice of lime, and a slice of lemon. And no straws. The candy. It's the fuzzy peach rings. So let's dip it in the booze. We're gonna dip it in the booze. <laughs> and let's take one off. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. Oh my god, that's good. Dip your candy in the booze. Mmm, I may 
they have found a new favorite drink. <laughs> You know what? I think this is my new favorite drink. Crown oil and peach iced tea. I think I'm going to buy gin and peach schnapps all summer long. I think so. Oh, thank you oh, so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our pickled willies. Pickled willies, everybody. Woo! Pickled willies. We get napkin. This one's hard to come off. <laughs> I'm letting mine show. There we go. I'm fine. Alright, I'm gonna try pickled willy. Yeah, we wouldn't have to, right? Oh, it's hot. Careful. Mm. It's so hot. <laughs> What's up, Onyx? Uh, Royal Olive? You want to sip it, though? I'm going to throw it out. Okay, let's try the peach. It's, it's That's got tart. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We need to buy some of that for the house. Yes, I do. So it's a pickled willy. Shouldn't we have gotten a little plate? A pickled willy with a dill ranch sauce on the side, I think. I lost my candy today, but I'll find them at the bottom. Mm. I love pickles. Mm. 10 out of 10. I'm down. I'm down here for that. Mm. That is so good. We need napkins. Yeah, we're going to have to ask her. I think she's the only waitress. <laughs> oh my god, this is a great song. Okay. Oh, there goes half the pickle. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. much. Would you like, uh, we have pepper, salt. Yep. Uh, yes. Yep. Thank you so much. All of that. We want it. For after. Oh, this is for after. These are the little towelettes that we're going to use for after. Send, oh send Willie. Pickled Willie. Patriot. <laughs> so good. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. So yeah, I can't. I gotta be careful. I'm drinking this fast, and I want it. I'm gonna be like, mm, I want it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's gonna take me as long to drink that as uh, I, I originally thought. thought. No, we might have to. I'll leave. Look what I can do. I can hold my plate with my pinky so there's no crummies and I can dance with the other hand. <laughs> and I can hold my fish ball and drink it. There you go. That's a two-hander. <laughs> no, the ice cubes are not shaped like fish. Yep. But Unfortunately. It would be cooler if it was. Steam. <laughs> it's still good though. So when it gets too hot, you just dip it in the dill sauce and you're good to go. That batter is amazing. It's perfect. It's like a beer batter or something. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm a fan of these. I would <laughs> order these again. And you get six, which is a good um, for splitsies, or it's good mm -hmm. if you, I could pack that by myself. Mm -hmm. It would not be difficult to eat that alone. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. 
And then if you get hungry again, the pickles are gone. You have your orange slices and your lemons and your candy. There's so much in this drink. It's about insane. what we could make with that peach um, crown royal this summer. All the oh my god. I am so gonna be, I'm gonna be, we should buy something. We should buy little fish bowls. I'll make it, right? Make it look the same. We're gonna make our own for home for this summer on the patio. We're gonna have our um, fuzzy gins and our royal peach. Crown royal. So good. And that's true, there's a lot of ice in here, but there is a lot of alcohol in here. Yeah, it's not, it's not light on the liquor, that's for sure. That's why it's good, you just need one. <laughs> I can't, I don't think I can do <laughs> My eyes are just bigger than my belly right now. Oh yeah, it's got a rice cream. Mm -hmm. Actually, I do have some. They're like um, flowers, plastic flowers, and you put them. In, they're in the freezer. So yeah, I'm gonna use those. Well, they're getting dessert. It's kind of chocolate lava cake or something. I'm not a huge dessert person, but it's real. Good for them. I'd get another one of these. <laughs> Get some rubber airline. You could make a ten foot straw to your last chair. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> You're the strange animal. Oh, they're delish. That's I know. Canadian superstar Gowan. Gowan. I saw him live twice. Once by himself and once with Sticks. Oh my God, Sticks is amazing. Never know where you from. Around here. Oh. <laughs> I have plastic golf balls for drinks. They were pretty good. <laughs> hmm. I wanted to get those skull molds. Mm. Those look good. We'll do those for Halloween. Or always. I'm kind of digging, I'm digging the tunes. They got a good radio station happening over here. Yeah, that's for sure. I agree. Yeah. Ooh, the wings are going to be so good. Oh, I like fries and we have carrot sauce and celery sauce. and blue cheese. We have a head blue cheese. Oh my God, the blue cheese dip. Yeah. Who doesn't like blue cheese dip? Does anyone not like blue cheese dip? <laughs> you can't sit with us. Mm -mm. Do we all like blue cheese dip? I'm just kidding. You can still sit with us. You're so... And my rib. These are making me hungry. <laughs> Take away for dinner it is. And Margaret, when you come down to the city, we're definitely taking you here to come get some pickled willies. <laughs> we, we'll take you to wherever you want to go for food. Oh, girl. That's what I know. Something my spirit is. <laughs> Your views up 84 to 48, Utah. Let me tell you. Okay. I'm done my pickles. Annie, look at that. Look at that, Annie. Look at that. <laughs> mm hmm. We could do a Toronto food tour. Oh my god. What we eat in a day? Hmm? What we eat in a day? Yeah. What do we eat in a day? Or what can we eat in a day? Oh, here we go with our wings. Yes, our main event. Garlic, garlic. Thank you. And oh, great. The garlic too. Perfect. Thank and you. Okay. Thank Excellent. you. There we go. We have our plate. And then that. Oh wow, that looks freaking amazing. Should we show them? Let's show them. So there is our garlic trio with our front. I mean, our um, celeries. Celeries and carrots. And then 
We have my garlic, garlic dry rub with blue cheese and home fries. So yeah, it's gonna be good. We might need another, maybe we'll need another basket of fries. Um, no, I don't think so. Oh yeah, maybe. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. We might not. But, let's see, how much time do we have left here? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna thank everybody for coming out and hanging out with us. We're gonna take videos and pictures of the progress on uh, our wings and our our drink here. That's true. And um, we might pop up again real soon. I don't know. Y'all are gonna have to stay tuned. Thanks for coming out with us on this Sunday afternoon. Fun day Sunday. We appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking pictures of the food already. Because I just want to eat. Yeah, we're going to get sloppy. Yeah, sloppy. We don't want to do sloppy. <laughs> it's going to be... Messy hands and messy mouths and stuff. Mwah! Big kisses and much love to all of you. Thank you so much for coming Thanks out. Thanks for coming support. out. Miss we'll... you guys. Yeah, what she says. We'll see y'all soon. Ciao. Inspiration. Mm -hmm.